Hey there, Casey Dimon here with thetaxallacademy.com with day number two of your 30 days of tips to becoming a more successful tax sale investor. You know, in day number one, we talked about having a professional email address. Well, day number two, we'll be talking about having a business phone number. Do not use your cell phone or your home phone as your business number. You know, as you become more and more successful, you're going to have more and more contacts. You know, a lot of these will be people in different time zones or different continents even. You know, the last thing you want is somebody from Australia calling you at 2 o'clock in the morning just because they're curious about the size of a piece of property. You know, and if you start from the very beginning by giving out your cell phone number or your home phone number, it's just going to lead to a mess you know, come two, three, four years down the road when you have a huge contact base, when your phone is constantly ringing off the hook. You know, getting phone calls is a great thing, but getting them at two or three o'clock in the morning constantly on your cell phone is not a great thing. And secondly, having a business number instead of just putting a cell phone number down looks a lot more professional. I know what you're thinking. You don't want the expense of another phone line. I can certainly appreciate that. Well, I use a company called Google Voice. You know, it's obviously one of the biggest companies in the world. Google owns it. It's Google Voice. It's a free service, and you can go on there and you can pick your phone number out. And what you can do is you can have that phone number forward to your cell phone, forward to your office, or just directly forward to Google Voice's voicemail. And what will happen is when that number calls your cell phone, you know, you can program it into your cell phone as real estate company. So when somebody calls that number, it'll ring your cell phone and it says real estate company. The great thing about this though is that number one, you can say, oh, it's real estate company. Let me send them to voicemail, send them to my business voicemail. Or you can choose to ignore the call totally, you know, if it's at 10 o'clock at night or something. Another great thing that you can do is you can choose when you want to allow the phone calls to come through. You know, say you only want to receive phone calls from 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 p.m. about your business. So what you do is you go on Google Voice, you program it to allow phone calls only from 8 to 5. From 8 to 5, it'll ring that number, you know, and then you'll obviously be able to look at your cell phone and see that it's coming from your real estate company so you can answer it, you know, so-and-so real estate company or so-and-so properties, however you want to, instead of just hello or hey Bob or, you know, however you answer your phone. And then if it's after those hours, if it's after business hours, you know, say from 5 in the evening until 8 o'clock the next morning, you can have it sent directly to your voicemail. It won't even ring your phone. They'll go straight to voicemail. They can leave a message. Then you can call them back from that Google Voice number. So get a professional email address was day number one. Day number two is to get a business phone number, and I suggest using Google Voice. So that is day number two, tip number two of your 30 days of tips to become a more successful tax sale investor. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in day number three. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye.